Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Abby Smith. A crackdown on human trafficking has seen 22 women stopped at Australia's border, suspected of being sent to work in the sex industry. Most of the women were intercepted at Sydney and Cairns airports. The AFL is offering welfare support for players caught up in a nude photo scandal. A collection of screenshots and videos have been circulated online without consent. The file is believed to involve more than 45 past and present players. The league has launched an investigation while police and the East Safety Commissioner have been alerted. Parts of the country can expect heat waves and bushfires this summer with a high chance of an El Nino weather event. Manager of Climate Monitoring Carl Braganza says those on the east coast will be affected the most. What that tends to mean is elevated fire danger in the springtime for New South Wales and Queensland and elevated fire danger in the eastern parts of South Australia, Victoria, southern New South Wales and Tasmania um, over the summer period. Meantime, the RSPCA is reminding pet owners to keep an eye on their furry friends in the cold weather. Chief Vet Dr Anne Chester says creature comforts are important. Animals are just like us. They want to feel warm. Cats are generally pretty good at finding the warmest spot. But dogs, particularly if they're kept outside, they need to be kept out of the wind. So a kennel, something raised off the ground so the cold air doesn't seep through. Warm bedding. The RSPCA is also asking for donations of blankets and coats for dogs in shelters. Treasury Wine Estates is shutting down a winery in Victoria's northwest due to a decline in cheap wine sales. The Penfolds maker is blaming people moving away from $10 bottles of wine and China's trade ban on Australian wine. New research reveals one in three younger Aussies are hoping to retire before the age of 55, but experts say they might need a reality check. It found many are confused or don't know how much money they'll need to retire, or nearly a third believe they'll need less than $500,000. And another coronation ceremony for King Charles, this time in Scotland. He's been presented with another crown, the Honours of Scotland, following a grand procession to Edinburgh Castle. The King met with protesters as he arrived at St Giles Cathedral. Entertainment and sport next. Novak Djokovic has beaten Australian Jordan Thompson in straight sets in their second round match on centre court at Wimbledon, but the Serb was full of praise for his opponent. Congratulations to him for a great performance today. He was a bit unlucky in the second set. He had some chances, but uh, yeah, he played a great match. He, he deserves a big round of applause for sure. Australian Daria Saville lost to British number one Katie Bolter, 7 6 6 4. The match disrupted by rain and a protester. Tonight in the AFL, it's Richmond versus Sydney at the MCG. Dustin Martin among five changes, while the Swans have recalled Buddy Franklin for what could be his final game at the MCG. While in the NRL, round 19 kicks off with the West Tigers hosting the Sharks tonight. Players are taking action over ongoing disputes surrounding their new collective bargaining agreement, refusing to do any media on game days. And in the third Ashes test, it's getting underway tonight. England have made three changes. In entertainment news, Kate Middleton is set to be called an auntie again. The Princess of Wales has announced her brother James is expecting his first baby with Alizi Thevenet. It's getting nice and hot for Nelly, who's just secured a $50 million deal for his entire music catalogue. The rapper has sold his best-known songs, including Ripe With Me and Hot In Here, to Harbourview Equity Partners, for the eye-watering amount. And Amber Heard has admitted to feeling the pressure on her return to the Aquaman franchise. Johnny Depp's ex says she feels honoured to be part of the production, despite fans circulating a petition to have her removed from the cast. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.